Hello everyone, Dennis Newberry here, Product Manager for TrueSight Operations Management. And today I am very pleased to announce the release of the 10.5.01 monitoring repo. With this repo release, we've effectively re-released the Microsoft Azure KM. With the Azure 2.0 KM, you can now connect to modern Azure APIs to do resource group monitoring, as well as the contents of those resource groups to include virtual machines, storage, network, SQL Server, we also even allow you to do billing monitoring for your subscription level. So if, if you're using Microsoft Azure today, I highly recommend you check out our new Azure KM in this current repo release. Additionally, with this repo release, we've again extended our remote monitoring of operating systems, specifically for AS400 in this case with the release of the iSeries KM. So with this release of the iSeries KM, we've extended the filtering capabilities that we have. We have provided sub-minute polling for message queues, and we've provided a number of different event enrichments, as well as auto-reply on messages from events. So if you're using AS400 today, please go check out the new update. I think you'll like it. Additionally, we've enhanced both the Web Transaction KM as well as the Web URL KM. Specifically with the Web Transaction KM, we've now enhanced the recorder so that you can do transaction playback, and you can transmit the transaction file from the recorder directly to TrueSight Presentation Server for usage with configuration, and you can automatically update monitoring configurations within a given policy in TrueSight. There are a number of other updates in this repo that I haven't covered. I highly recommend you go check out the what's new on the community, and if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to contact me, Dennis Newberry, at dennis underscore newberry at bmc.com. You guys have a great day. Take care.